This video will walk you through identifying and categorizing costs of quality. Here's the data and requirements for our problem. We're asked to classify the cost elements for the impressive printing company into the proper quality cost categories, and then to find the total quality cost by category and percentage of total quality cost by category. Let's attack this problem by going through each cost element one by one and determining if it's a prevention cost, appraisal cost, internal failure cost, or external failure cost. Customer compliant remakes is an external failure cost because this happens after the customer receives the product. Printing plate revisions is an internal failure cost since the deficiency is caught before printing and delivery to the customer, allowing for rework to the plate. Quality improvement costs are a prevention cost seeking to build quality in before printing even starts. Gauging is an appraisal cost. Other waste is generally considered internal failure. The next item is correction of typographical errors or typos. Now at 189,000, that's a very large cost. This should probably raise a red flag on its own, and maybe the company should invest in spell checking software. The next item is proofreading, which is also a form of inspection, so it's an appraisal cost. Now at $405,000, it's pretty big, but it's likely a necessary activity given the nature of the work. Quality planning is a prevention cost. Press downtime and binary waste are also internal failure costs since the customer doesn't see them. And finally, there's checking and inspection, which is an appraisal cost. Color coding costs can sometimes help with their classification as well. Now that we have them classified individually, we can come up with a total for each category. Prevention costs total $71,000, or about 7.1% of the total quality costs of $994,000. Appraisal costs total $482,000, or 48.5% of total quality costs. Internal failure costs are $360,000, or 36.2% of total costs. And external failure costs total $81,000, or 8.2% of quality costs. Although external failure costs are relatively small, 8.2%, the company is still incurring extensive costs for appraisal and, and internal failure. 36 plus about 48.5% is almost 85%. Prevention costs are low at 7.1%, suggesting that more effort could be spent on preventing defects and waste. It's great that external failure costs are relatively low, meaning that customers might not be seeing a lot of defective work, but that's because unacceptable output is being caught before it leaves the facility, thanks to what appears to be rigorous inspection or appraisal. However, appraisal is expensive, and the more the quality can be built into the process before production even begins to reduce internal failure and external failure costs, the better off the company and its customers will be. Cost of quality is a relatively simple and effective tool for measuring and managing quality. However, it does require the company to separately track quality-related costs that may be sometimes buried into other cost items on a company's income statement.